Hi guys, so I'm going to do an empties video today. This is my October empties. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, it's another big month. Um, there's tons of stuff. And if you guys are wondering what this is, this is my coffee table. If you have me on Instagram, you have seen this. I made it myself. Let me show you it. It's a, a coffee table made out of wood pallets. So I'm trying to get the best I can in here. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? So, um, yeah, like I said, I, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a better picture of it. Let's go ahead and get on to the empties. Used up is this Suavitel. I've used up a couple bottles of this, but I leave at least one extra bottle left over so that way I can um, mix my laundry soap and mix my Febreze as well. Two boxes of the Suavitel. I love this stuff. Definitely repurchase. Definitely repurchase the liquid form too. Um, I used up a pack of um, Scours. This is the Scrub Buddies brand. There's two of them. They're pink. I will not repurchase these. Um, they didn't scratch any surface, which is great, but they bled. They were a pink color, so anytime that they got wet and sat on the sink or something, the dye would come out of it. So I wouldn't recommend these, nor would I purchase them. Okay, I used up two packs of the um, Home Store Sweeper Dry um, cleaning pads. These are for you like your Swift or Wet Jet. I love these and definitely will repurchase them. We used up a thing of Kleenex. This has the monsters on it. This is Mike and Brittany and Carrie and Sully. And anyways, um, this is, I do believe, the Scott. No, this is Sofitel. Sofitel is nice, but we like the Scott's brand better. Um, it's just better quality tissue for your buck. Um, I think you still get the same amount. Oh no, you get 85 in this one and the um, Scott's one. I think you only get 75, but they're still better. Um, they're better than the soft tail ones, in my opinion. So, But anyways, we used a box of that. I used up a thing of my Dawn. I used up two of these of the Dawn Simply Cleans. Um, I like these. I get them every time I go to the Dollar Tree, so definitely will repurchase those. Um, I used up a thing of Spick and Span. I get this at the Dollar Tree. I love Spick and Span, but the only place I use it is in my bathroom. Um, so, but definitely will repurchase that. I used up a thing of Magic Erasers. This is by Mr. Clean. This is the Selecta size. Um, it came with a big one, three medium sizes, and two small sizes, I do believe. Yeah, and uh, I like these because uh, you can pick whatever size you need for whatever job you need and it works great. So I'll definitely probably repurchase those. I used up two toothpastes. One is from the Dollar Tree and the other is just from our, my local grocery store. I had purchased this for when I went on my trip to have um, for my trip. Um, or I'm sorry, these aren't Crest, they're Colgate. I don't like the Crest Cavity Protection. The Colgate one's really nice, but I don't use Colgate Cavity Protection anymore. Um, ever since this whole plaque issue and stuff with my teeth, I switched my toothpaste up. So anyways, I don't use this anymore, but I definitely repurchase it if I needed it. So, But like I said, I found a new toothpaste. Up a thing of Skintimate. This is Raspberry Rain Shave Gel. I didn't like this one. Um, I like my tangerine one better, but you know, it was okay. So I like the Skintimate brand. So I definitely will repurchase the Skintimate brand, but probably not this scent. Bobby used up two deodorants. He didn't like this orange one. Um, we got it from Big Lots for $1.50. He likes these ones better, and uh, you can get the green ones at the Dollar Tree, but this one actually came from Walmart. It's a bigger size, so we'll definitely repurchase the green ones. I use up a thing of hair remover. This is the Sally Hansen's cream hair remover. I like this to shape up my eyebrows or any like facial hair I have, like mustaches. <laughs> I'll use that on. I won't use it on my face, just on my mustache, like my upper lip and my eyebrows. But I like this stuff and uh, it works pretty good. 
Then I used up a eyebrow shaper razor. I use this on my facial hair, like if I have any sideburns that are going crazy or anything like that. I also use it to trim up my eyebrows. Um, this is the Adele. Is it Dell or Ardell? I can't remember brand, but uh, you get these at Target, and they come in a three-pack. So I definitely repurchased that. I used up a Bic Soleil razor. I think I talked about this in my last empties. They had come in a pack, and uh, this handle is supposed to be lavender scented. It's not really lavender scented. Um, you can't really smell it, but they work all right. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase them because when they get like a couple uses out of them. I know they're disposable, but once they get a couple uses out of them, they'll start cutting you. So, um, I think I will probably just go with a different razor brand. I used up a, um, I finally used up this. I think I had the conditioner in my last empties. This is the BO5 Coconut, Island Coconut Shampoo. I didn't like it because it doesn't smell like coconuts at all it just it's it's a perfumey scent so I won't repurchase that then I used up a um, another VO5 this is the key lime squeeze conditioner definitely will repurchase this kind I love the key lime squeeze and I think they smell delicious and it really helps your hair it's a clarifying conditioner so I like this kind so I'll definitely repurchase that I used up a soft soap. This is the Rainforest Escape. I love this soft soap or this smell. This is like the limited edition for the summer. Um, it says that it has a scent of coconut water and lime. Um, I don't think I smell the lime per se. Like it's not really a lime scent, but it does smell really good. It does smell like coconuts. Um, but I'm probably not going to repurchase this coconut smell because I found another soft soap that smells is a coconut smell that smells better so um, I probably won't repurchase this scent Bobby used up a Phoenix Axe shower gel he likes this stuff so we'll probably repurchase it I used up a herbal essence um, I used up an herbal essence clarifying conditioner this is the naked brand I loved this stuff and highly recommend it and definitely will repurchase it again I used up these two samples that Marcia had given me of the John Frieda Frizz Ease. Um, they're the Smooth Start Shampoo and Conditioner. I loved this stuff. It really helped with the frizziness in my hair that I um, get, and I would definitely probably I would definitely purchase the bigger sizes of these. I loved them. I dyed my hair, so I used um, the Dollar Tree brand. This is De La, De La this is Della Ritz, or whatever you call it, and this is in the dark brown. I like this stuff. It works really well. Um, it's thicker than normal um, hair dye. If you guys want to see like a tutorial on how I dye my hair with it, um, I'll do that for you. But it's just basically the same process as normal hair dye. It's just a lot thicker than hair dye, and it also doesn't come with um, the after, uh, after conditioner. Uh, it also, the gloves that are in it, I used the gloves last night to test it out so I could do this review for you guys. Um, the gloves are really crappy in there. I have my own pair of gloves that I use every time. They are like the professional dyeing gloves that you get from Sally's. And, um, I've had them, but I wanted to use the gloves in here so I could see what they are like so I could tell you guys about it. And they're not worth it. They kept falling off my hands and, oh god, it was a mess. But I do like the hair dye, so I'll definitely repurchase that again. I used up two hand soaps. The first hand soap I used up is this coconut lime. I got this from Michael's. It smelled so good. Oh my god, I loved it. And there was tons in there. It's a 3.5 fluid ounce bottle. So I got this for a dollar at Michael's. And then I thought I was out of my coconut lime hand, foaming hand soap by Serenity. You get this at the Dollar Tree, but I wasn't. But I am now. This is my last bottle. Um, we just used this up. I love this stuff and definitely will repurchase it again. I'll repurchase the Michaels one too. Um, I used up a pen. <laughs> 
um, I know this is weird putting it in here, but I wanted to kind of review it for you guys. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and they were the sparkle pens, and this works really good. There's just not a lot of ink in it. I mean, it didn't take me very long to run out of it. Um, I love sparkly pens, but you know what? For a dollar, it was great. It came in a three-pack, and it was very pretty, so um, definitely if I see this at the Dollar Tree again, I'll repurchase them. I went through some of my cotton rounds. Um, I have tons of these backed up because I always stock up in them because you never know when Dollar Tree is going to not bring them back. You know, I liked the blue pack before and then they changed it to a green pack. They're a little bit different than the blue pack, but not enough difference to where I won't use them. They're almost the same. There's 80 cotton pads in them. I love them. You get them for a dollar. That's better than most places. Like Swispers, you get like 100 Swispers, I think, for like almost 3 bucks at Walmart. And they're not worth a dang. I used up two face masks. This one here is a Studio 35 Beauty. This came from Walgreens. This is a deep cleansing mask. This is seaweed and um, seaweed salts. It's supposed to cleanse and purify. I liked it. It's like the Dead Sea um, one from Freeman's. I loved it. It worked really well. Um, but the only thing is, um, the Freeman's one is blue and this is white. So that's probably the only difference. But I liked this one. Definitely repurchased it whenever I go to all Walgreens. I don't have one here. The next one I used up, this one is by the Montagenis or whatever you call them, Mon Montague Genis. Um, this is the Creamy Coconut. I really liked this one. It smelled so much like coconuts and it felt so great on your face because it had shea butter in it. I like this one and definitely will repurchase it. The Spa Perfect Twisted Peppermint Makeup Remover Wipes. There's 15 um, sheets in here. I got this from Katie from Katie Talks. I loved this. She gave me two of these ones and then I think it was two of the sugar cookies. I love this and cannot wait this year for hopefully Target gets these back in because I'm going to stock up on them. They worked well taking off my makeup and made my face smell amazing. The next ones I used up are these Apelli ones. These are from Big Lots. These are the um, vitamin C ones. I think Katie also gave me these as well. Um, I got a couple of these in friend mails and also bought a couple myself. I love these ones. Um, these ones don't really take off your makeup. They are more for just cleansing. Like say you have a little bit of makeup left over when you wake up. Um, or a little bit of makeup that you didn't get off and then after you got out of the shower you noticed you had eyeliner you know running down your face or mascara it works well for that and that's what I use these for and I use them for in the morning to cleanse my face um, I didn't see that it brightened my face but it just kind of gave it that refreshed feeling in the morning I'll definitely repurchase them though they had a nice citrus scent now these ones these are by Apelli too and you get them at Big Lots and Katie gave me these as well um, these ones are amazing. They are the low Aloe Vera ones and they actually took off all my makeup on my face. They're very moist and they worked really well. I love these and whenever I get near a Big Lots again, I'm going to stack up on these. I don't have a Big Lots here, so, but when I get near one, I'm going to stack up on these. Okay, so for some face cleansing products. These are from the Dollar Tree. I used up two of the Skin Nutrition Spatial Cleansers. I love this brand, guys. I highly recommend them, and um, I just, I love them. This, this system, because it comes with this, the clarifying lotion is what it's called, but it's like a toner, and then a shampoo, or not shampoo, a um, moisturizer. It really helps to clear out my acne on my face and keep it at bay. I still get the hormonal acne around my mouth. I mean, that you can't stop that because it goes off your hormones and, you know. But anyways, um, any other acne, though, it, it doesn't come out. If it does come out, you know, this stuff will zap it right away. It does feel very drying on your face when you wash your face and when you use the toner, but then you put the moisturizer on and it really just moisturizes your face but helps with the acne. So highly recommend it and I definitely repurchase these. You can only you only get them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Like, what are you losing by only, you know, testing it out at least for a dollar? Three dollars for a uh, skincare line, what are you losing? And then I used up one of the clarifying lotions it comes with. This is step two. It's just basically a toner, but uh, I love this stuff. It works well. So. And the last of my empties here are candles. I used up this um, Skittles, whoops, Skittles um, candle in raspberry. I burned it here on my table, um, like how I have that one there. 
The Skittle ones have a better scent throw than the M&M one. The M&M one I'm burning right now. Um, but if you put them in a small room or in a bathroom, like the M&M ones, it'll smell it up. This one here actually smelled out my living room. I could smell it. So um, I like these Skittle ones and highly recommend them. You get them from a Dollar Tree. This still smells amazing. And like I said, I could smell it when I walked into the living room. So uh, my living room is pretty opened. Um, and you can clean these out. I'm not going to clean this one out. I already have one like this that I cleaned out. So, But um, you can clean these out and reuse them again for candles and whatnot. So multi-purpose for only a dollar. Next one I used up, which I am going to clean out because this is a nice big jar. This one is just a mango one that my mom had given me. And um, I think it came from Walmart. Yeah, it has Walmart.com on the bottom. It smelled really good. I liked it. Um, the last two candles are the... Uh, basically the same brand. These are the Bakery Fresh candles that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. I wish I had gotten more um, because friends wanted them, also because I would have burnt them. These were amazing. Um, the scent throw on them was really good in the bathrooms and in the living room. Um, I can still smell it. Like this one is the apple pie and it smells, you can smell the crust. The only thing I didn't like is look how much is still in there. Yeah, you can put it in your Scentsy warmer, no big deal, but I still didn't like the fact that it didn't burn all the way down. There's still quite a bit in there that could have burned. So other than that, these candles are amazing. And I'm definitely going to clean those jars out. And this one here is the cinnamon bun one. Again, it's the bakery fresh. And this one didn't even burn. Like, this one, this one's the worst of it. Because look at that. Like, I mean, it burned all the way in here. But look at how much is still up in there. So, you know, that's the only downfall is it didn't burn nicely. So that's it, guys, for my empties. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them, and I'll see you next time. Bye.